is Stephen M. Jackson, and I serve as the district social worker from MSD of Wayne Township. It is an honor for me to provide a brief glimpse into the life of one of the greatest Americans ever, Mr. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali was an American former heavyweight champion boxer and one of the greatest sporting figures of the 20th century. An Olympic gold medalist and the first fighter to capture the heavyweight title three times, Ali won 56 times in his 21-year professional career. Ali's outspokenness on issues of race, religion, and politics made him a controversial figure during his career. In the heavyweights, quips and taunts were as quick as his fist. Born Cassius Clay Jr., Ali changed his name in 1964 after joining the Nation of Islam. Citing his religious beliefs, he refused military induction and was stripped of his heavyweight championship and banned from boxing for three years during the prime of his career. Parkinson's syndrome severely impaired Ali's motor skills and speech, but he remained active as a humanitarian and goodwill ambassador. Cassius Marcellus Clay Jr., the elder son of Cassius Marcellus Clay Sr., and Odessa Grady Clay, was born on January 17, 1942, in Louisville, Kentucky. It was a red and white twin that steered the future heavyweight champion to the sport of boxing. When his beloved bicycle was stolen, a tearful 12-year-old play reported the theft to Louisville police officer Joe Martin and vowed to pummel the culprit. Martin, who was also a boxing trainer, suggested that the upset youngster first learned how to fight, and he took Clay on his wing. Six weeks later, Clay won his first bout in a split decision. By age 18, Clay had captured two national gold glove titles, two amateur athletic union national titles, and 100 victories against eight losses. After graduating high school, he traveled to Rome and won the light heavyweight gold medal in the 1960 Summer Olympics. After winning his first 19 fights, including 15 knockouts, Clay received his first title shot on February 25, 1964, against reigning heavyweight champion Sonny Liston. And although he arrived in Miami Beach, Florida as the underdog, the 22-year-old Clay relentlessly taunted Liston before the fight, promised to quote-unquote float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, and predicted a knockout. When Liston failed to answer the bell to start a seventh round, Clay was indeed crowned heavyweight champion of the world. In the ring after the fight, the new champ roared, I am the greatest. At a press conference the next morning, Clay, who had been seen around Miami with controversial Nation of Islam member Malcolm X, confirmed the rumors of his conversion to Islam. On March 6, 1964, Nation of Islam leader Elijah Muhammad bestowed on Clay the name of Muhammad Ali. Ali solidified his hold on the heavyweight championship by knocking out Liston in the first round of the rematch on May 25, 1965, and he defended his title eight more times. Then, with the Vietnam War raging, Ali showed up for his scheduled induction to the U.S. Armed Forces on April 28, 1967. Citing his religious beliefs, he refused to serve. Ali was arrested, and the New York State Athletic Commission immediately suspended his boxing license and revoked his heavyweight belt. Convicted of draft evasion, Ali was sentenced to the maximum of five years in prison and a $10,000 fine. But he remained free while the conviction was appealed. Many saw Ali as a draft doctor, and his popularity plummeted. Banned from boxing for three years, Ali spoke out against the Vietnam War on college campuses. His public attitudes towards turned against the war, support for Ali grew. And in 1970, the New York State Supreme Court ordered his boxing license reinstated. In the following year, the U.S. Supreme Court overturned his conviction in a unanimous decision. After 43 months in exile, Ali returned to the ring on October 26, 1970, and knocked out Jerry Query in the third round. On March 8, 1971, Ali got his chance to regain his heavyweight crown against reigning champion Joe Frazier. And what was billed as the fight of the century, Ali lost in the unanimous decision, experiencing his first defeat as a pro. 
Ali won his next 10 bouts before being defeated by Ken Norton. He won the rematch six months later in the split decision and gained further revenge in the unanimous decision over Frazier in a non-title great rematch. The victory gave the 32-year-old Ali a title shot of his 25-year-old champion, George Foreman. The October 30th, 1974 fight in Zaire was dubbed the Rumble in the Jungle. Ali, the decided underdog, employed his quote-unquote rope-a-dope strategy, leaning on the ropes and absorbing a barrage of, blow, of blows from Foreman while waiting for his opponent to tie him. The strategy worked. And Ali won in an eight-round knockout to regain the title stripped from him seven years earlier. Ali successfully defended his title in 10 fights, including the memorable Thriller in the Middle on October 1st, 1975, in which he defeated his bitter rival, French. In 1984, Muhammad Ali was diagnosed with Parkinson's syndrome, possibly connected to the severe head trauma he suffered during his boxing career. The former champion's motor skills slowly declined and his movement and speech were limited. In spite of the Parkinson's, Ali remained in the spotlight, traveled the world to make humanitarian, goodwill, and charitable appearances. He met with Iraqi leader Saddam Hussein in 1990 to negotiate the release of American hostages. And in 2002, he traveled to Afghanistan as a United Nations messenger of peace. Muhammad Ali had the honor of lighting the cauldron during the opening ceremonies of the 1996 Summer Olympics in Atlanta. In 1990, Ali was voted the BBC's Sporting Personality of the Century. His Sports Illustrated named him Sportsman of the Century. Ali was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2005, White House Ceremony, and in the same year, the $60 million Muhammad Ali Center, a non-for-profit museum, Cultural Center focusing on peace and social responsibility opened in Louisville. Ring Magazine named Ali five of the year five times more than any other boxer, and he was inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 1990. Muhammad Ali died at the age of 74 on June 3, 2016. Again, my name is Stephen of Jackson, and it is with great honor that I was able to provide a brief glimpse into the life of a true American hero and true American historical figure, Muhammad Ali. Thank you.